Today, I would like to talk about neural tube defects. These are some of the severe birth defects of the central nervous system affecting the brain, spine and the spinal cord. They generally happen in the first month of pregnancy even before a woman realizes that she is pregnant. They can result in variable paralysis and sensory loss of the lower limbs along with severe orthopedic deformities. Urinary and bowel control problems with various brain abnormalities. They are often associated with non-verbal learning disability and executive function, although intelligency is normal in, most, in almost all of these cases. Now, the exact cause of this neural tube defects in pregnancy are unknown. However, genetics, nutrition and some environmental factors are known to play a role in causation of this. The next important thing is to identify the high-risk group women and prevent this neural tube defects. The women with a previous child born with a neural tube or identified antenatally with a neural tube defect is a high-risk category. Apart from this, obese women, women who are on anti-seizure medication, extremely uncontrolled or poorly controlled diabetes. So these are some of the significant risk factors for women to develop neural tube defects in the subsequent pregnancy. Now, how do we prevent this? Research shows that getting enough folic acid level periconceptionally, that is before conception and during the first trimester of pregnancy would decrease the effect of neural tube defects. Now, how do we identify the fetuses who are having neural tube defects during pregnancy? With the best equipment ultrasound and the high frequency probes that we have, neural tube defects can be identified at a very early gestational age around 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks. The message I would like to convey today is the burden of neural tube defects can greatly be reduced if we follow these two simple strategies of getting a good periconceptional folic acid tab medication. And second thing, get a good scan done from a fetal medicine expert at an early pregnancy at around 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks, where in addition to the neural tube defects, we would also get a risk assessment for various other parameters like the Down syndrome, preeclampsia risk and looking for other fetal organ abnormalities. Thank you.